I know it's kind of late. Because that's a 2016 CRF 250L, okay? And I've owned it. I ain't owned it quite a year yet. The license plate says 124, but I think I actually bought it like in February or March. But anyway, uh, here's my review on the CRF 250L, okay? This bike, I have done more things, been to more places on this bike than I can imagine. I took this thing down to West Virginia and I rode it for 300 miles down there. I rode some trails, I rode some of the Hatfield McCoy trails with it. I did a lot of road riding on the windies, the twisties, and all this kind of stuff, you know, uphills, downhills. And I'm going to tell you what. They always, they're always talking about the unicorn bike. Well, I'm going to tell you, you've got the unicorn bike and you don't really realize it. The unicorn bike is any of these small single cylinder uh, dual sports. You can do anything and everything on them. <clears throat> I, I, like I said, I, I ride this thing. You can do highway speeds. This thing will run 65, 70 mile an hour if that's what you want to do. But yet you can get out there and you can you can ride you can ride trails you can ride single track if you want to if you've got the skill and the ability to do it you can ride single tracks. I don't quite have that kind of uh, ability, okay? And you know that's neither here nor there. But if you want to do it, you can do it. So I'm saying the little 250s, 300 class machines, whether it be Honda, Kawasaki, Suzuki, whatever the case may be, are great little bikes. Now here's here's the thing, here's the thing, okay? Uh, I'm not talking about the what they call the little adventure bikes, the little uh, well, I'm I'm just gonna you know call spade a spade. Uh, the KTM's I don't like them. They're junk, period. Uh, they, they they cannot compete with with the Japanese bike. For one thing is, uh, here again, I like being able to sit down in the bike. I don't want to sit on the bike. Okay, and if, and it's like the 450Ls, I don't like them because it's the, you have set on top of the bike, and I don't like that. I'm not a racer. I'm a dual sport rider. And most of your KTMs are the same way. I just don't like them. The Husqvarna, same thing. I just don't like them. That, and... This thing has got chips in it, okay? It's got it's got electronic fuel injection. It's got a digital readout and all that kind of horse shit. Well, that's enough. It does have a radiator, which I, I like this this thing with the radiator. Uh, but I don't want to ride the chip. I don't want the chip telling me what I'm going to do or the chip's going to tell me what mode I need to be. I don't want none of that shit. I'm in control of that bike, and I want to stay in control of that bike, okay? That's just me. If you like riding a chip, that's up to you, okay? But I think, you know, instead of riding a motorcycle, you gotta get you something you can set side saddle on, and that's just my opinion. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, like I said, if, if this makes some people, if this offends some people, I really don't care. Because you know what? Uh, seem like they can say whatever they want to about people like me, and it's okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna state my opinion. Uh, I, like, I like motorcycles, and I like simple motorcycles. I like being in control of my motorcycle. I don't want my motorcycle being in control of me. It's just that simple. The less electronics you got on, the better off you are. That's just my opinion. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. But the CRF, I'll tell you what, the CRF uh, 250 has got me convinced. My next bike that I'm, I'm going to buy will probably be the CRF 300L. Um, a friend of mine's got one of them, and I've rode one once before, and I thought it was just a little bit, uh, a little bit big, okay? But after riding this CRF for almost a year, <clears throat> and I got used to how it rides, I think the, the kind of bike that I need is a CRF 300L. I love my Tanneray, and I'll never get rid of my Tanneray, because I'll tell you what, Bar none, the Tanneray is the world's best adventure bike, and I'll argue that point with anybody all day long. If you, if you know, the Tanneray is the best for me. That's my opinion. I love the Tanneray. You know, you can have all these, any other box you want to. La, 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 I don't care. Ride what you want, but for me, the Tanneray is the best, a uh, big adventure bike. Uh, 
uh, Honda come out with a 750 Trans out. They've got too many chips in them. They've got too many dirt riding modes. They've got too much rider. Uh, it's like, you know what? I hate to say it, but Honda builds a bulletproof bike. But, uh, Honda builds probably one of the best bikes there is. And anytime you put electronics on it, you're just screwing up something good. Why? Because electronics fail. Electronics is not good with with uh, water, electronics not good with mud, electronics not good with vibration, electronics are not good with heat, electronics will screw up a good bike. And I think Honda made a mistake by putting all electronics on that on that uh, trans out. That's my opinion. That's why I like the Tenere. There is no electronics. It's got fuel injection, that's it. And that's all it needs. You turn off those stupid ABS brakes. And, and there again, I. I don't know why everybody thinks ABS brakes are great. I don't like them. I hate them. They're, they're, they'll, in my opinion, they'll get you hurt. Uh, I'm an old school rider. I know how to use my back brake. I know how to use my front brake. I don't want some chip telling me they're going to use the brakes for me. That takes takes everything out of, out of my hands. Now, I don't like that. I like full control of my bikes. CRF is, to me, is probably one in the little... The little uh, 300 class, 250 class, dual sports, okay, as far as I'm concerned, are unicorn bikes. You can do just about anything that your skill level lets you do. Yeah, they'll go anywhere, they'll do anything, and, you know, I'm just, just letting you know, my CRF, I've had it just almost a year, I've got over 3,000 miles on it, and I just simply love it. But like I said, probably my next one will probably be the 300L. I don't know. I'm looking at them real hard. But that's a story for another day. Anyway, get out there and ride. Ride safe and ride free. And, and when you do ride, be in control of your bike, okay? It's all about you and the bike. It's all about you and the bike becoming one. It's not about you and the bike and the chip making decisions. It's all about you and the bike, okay? If that don't make any sense, then you don't, then, you know, you, you're, that's up to you. But most people that ride, they know what I'm saying. Become part of the bike, become one with the bike, and you'll have a, a long and happy relationship. But you, you try to partner with a, with, a, with a chip, you try to partner with a third party, and guess what? Everybody knows uh, a, a three-spoke wheel don't, don't roll. So that, that's, up to, that's up to you. Hey, the CRF 250L, my opinion on the bike, uh, I love it. Okay, that means the, the 300L and the 300 Rally is, in, in, in my opinion, great bikes. The 300 uh, Kawasaki KLX, great bike. The 230, great bike. You know, so it's, it's, it's all what you want. But anyway, CRF 250L, I give it two thumbs up because it, it has been uh, a, a wonderful asset for me. It's, it's really uh, helped me broaden my uh, riding horizons and even help my skill a little bit so because like the Tenere it gives you the confidence to do what you want to do hey I guess that's enough of that ride safe ride free but ride that's also what it's all about